Let's look at Pythagoras' theorem and thirds. So the question says, work out the missing side lengths and the first triangle is a right angled triangle where we're trying to work out the hypotenuse since the hypotenuse is a side opposite the right angle. Since we have two side lengths and a missing side length, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out this missing side length x. So Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared in a right angle triangle where c is the side opposite the right angle in other words the hypotenuse here which is x and the other two side lengths we can label however we like so we'll label 2 root 3 as a and we'll label root 5 minus 1 as b so substituting into Pythagoras' theorem then we have 2 root 3 all squared plus root 5 minus 1 all squared equals to c squared which in this case is x squared. If we now expand the brackets out so 2 root 3 squared is the same as 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 and so when we multiply thirds the numbers in front of the thirds we multiply together so 2 times 2 gives us 4 and then root 3 times root 3 gives us 3. So we have 4 times 3, which is 12. So this first bit, 2 root 3 all squared, is equal to 12. Likewise, if we look at root 5 minus 1 all squared, then this is the same as the square root of 5 minus 1 multiplied by the square root of 5 minus 1. And so if we expand the brackets out, root 5 times root 5 equals to 5. Root 5 times minus 1 equals to minus root 5. Minus 1 times root 5 equals to minus root 5, and then minus 1 times minus 1 equals to plus 1. If we simplify this, we have 5 plus 1, which is 6, and then root 5 minus root 5, which is minus 2 root 5. So instead of 2 root 3 all squared, we can write 12 now, and instead of root 5 minus 1 all squared, we can write 6 minus 2 root 5. So we're adding on 6 minus 2 root 5 and this equals to x squared. If we now simplify this, 12 plus 6 is 18, so this now gives us 18 minus 2 root 5 equals to x squared. And so 18 minus 2 root 5 is equal to 13.52786405 and that equals to x squared. And so square root in both sides, we end up with 3.67802446, and that equals to x. So if we round our answer to three significant figures, we end up with 3.68 centimeters, which equals to x. If we look at the next question, we have a right angle triangle again with two side lengths and a missing side. However, this time, the missing side is not the hypotenuse. And so we can still use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the missing side length, h. And Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. And so if we label our triangle, we have the hypotenuse, which is the side opposite the right angle. In this case, the square root of 47 over 3 as c. And then the other two side lengths, we can label however we like. So we'll label h as a, and we'll label root 20 over 3 as b. So substituting our values into Pythagoras' theorem then, we have a squared, which in this case is h squared, plus b squared, which in our case is root 20 over 3 all squared. And then this equals to c squared, which in our case is root 47 over 3 all squared. Simplifying this, we get the following. So h squared stays the same. Then we add on root 20 over 3 squared. So that's the same as root 20 over 3 times root 20 over 3. That's root 20 times root 20, which is 20. And then 3 times 3, which is 9. So 20 over 9. And that equals to the square root of 47 over 3 all squared. So again, root 47 times root 47, which is 47 and then 3 times 3, which is 9, so 47 over 9. Solving for h, we take away 20 over 9 from both sides of the equation, so we have h squared equals to 47 over 9 minus 20 over 9, which is equal to 27 over 9. Simplifying this fraction, 27 divided by 9 is the same as 3, so h squared equals to 3, 
And so finally, we square root both sides. And so we have h equals to the square root of 3 and then centimeters for our units. So we've worked out the two missing side lengths of these two triangles using Pythagoras' theorem involving sets.